That was probably one of the hardest things I've had to do. It would have been a perfect job for a certain ex-member of our team. Nick. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. We definitely miss not having him on this project. You can't kill me off that fast. With that being said, guys, this is gonna be the end of the road for me, at least for the time being at Aquascape. I just told Greg that as much as I have loved my time here, I've just had another opportunity that I feel will benefit myself and my family and my future. Unfortunately, this is gonna be the end of the road for me, at least for the time being at Aquascape. I've loved every second of it. I truly, truly mean that. I've had so many great memories with different contractors, different builds. I've met a ton of great people, but you know, change can be hard and I'm experiencing that now more than I think I ever have. And with that being said, I'm gonna be leaving. <laughs> uh, as hard as that is for me to say, it's been a great ride here. I've appreciated every second that I've been able to work with Chris and Brian and Ed and Greg and all the opportunity that's been provided for me here. I'm gonna miss this, I'm gonna miss everybody here. I'm gonna miss the opportunity, I'm gonna miss you guys on YouTube. It might not be the end of me. Maybe in the future, you can expect to see me around. I'd love to help these guys as much as possible. They've been my family for the past five years. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna leave you here and uh, I will catch up with you all soon. We miss having Nick around. He was a teammate that made our lives a hell of a lot easier by having him as part of our team. He was a valuable member and an asset and we loved working with him. We obviously miss seeing him do something else, but we're also very happy for him. Yeah, and, and 100%. His future endeavors. He handled it the right way. He went and met with Greg, told him what his dreams and, uh, and future look like that way. And so we wish Nick the best. You guys have probably noticed he's not been in a lot of videos. So that's why we wish him the best. And hopefully he comes back and visits with us every now and then. Maybe uh, we'll give him a special invite next time we do some brickwork. <laughs> Nick, we wish you the best. Good luck with everything. Hope to see you soon. Nick, anything to say? I can't get a full sentence in without this rooster crowing. Good morning. What's up everybody? It's Nick from Team Aquascape. What's up guys? It's Nick from Team Aquascape. All right guys, so it's probably, I don't even know, two o'clock in the afternoon right now. All right guys, so it's just about one o'clock in the afternoon. The guys are taking lunch right now. All right guys, so it's only day two. We really didn't even get a full day of work in yesterday and we are about to strap the first rock and sling this thing in. All right guys, so here we are. It's about 45 minutes into this waterfall competition at Pandemonium. Gotta be the hottest day of the year so far. All right guys, so yeah. we just got done running around to go on land with Tiffany and Jessica. As you can see, that's all the rock that we have delivered today. The enforcement's just arrived. We are gonna start flying through this rock so fast right now. I'm getting excited. It's Friday. Nobody likes to work late on a Friday. Now that being said, we got a lot done yesterday. Liner is in. We had to pull everybody off of this job site to help us get that in. Luckily for us, the customer had plenty of plants to mess around with today. Behind me, as you can see, these guys putting in the skimmer. Perfect little space, as you can see behind me, for a poundless waterfall. We are going out on a good note this weekend because we got a ton of stuff done today. So now it's just putting the words into practice. Let's get this done. This thing turned out kick butt and we are excited to kind of see how this thing progresses throughout the days, throughout the weeks, throughout the years. And with that being said, I think we're out of here. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. What's up there, Pond Guy? Buddy. You've obviously heard the news about Nick. I heard he actually did it the right way. He came and talked to you, set up in your office and shared the news and his dreams and new goals and everything. What are your thoughts? It's tough to lose a good guy. Five years of service is a good run. 
So I'm, I'm okay with it. I wish it would have worked out better for both of us, but I'm excited for him and he certainly did it the right way, yes. All right, so that really sucks, right? Losing a guy like Nick, and like he said, you know, it really feels more like a family member. Always hurts, and it hurts here. It hurts a little bit on the back, you know, because I know I've got to pick up some more slack. It hurts for all of the guys in the team because they know they got to pick up slack. And it's not just because Nick was such an awesome workhorse and could hang there with us. He was also an awesome leader and uh, very motivational. And so losing a key player like that, it does, it hurts. It hurts uh, in all parts of my body. <laughs> but I also know with setbacks like that, there's also huge opportunity. And where there's opportunity comes in the growth of not only myself, but every other member of our team. And so you're gonna see somebody fill his shoes. And if it's not one of the guys already on our crew, maybe it's one of you guys out there. I do know this, you know, when we read the comments on YouTube, when we get text messages and Facebook messages and stuff like that, everybody's always is asking, hey, how do I get a job with you? You guys, it's actually quite easy. Because of a giant network, much bigger than just myself, our certified Aquascape contractor network, there's opportunity for even people like you that want to do this for a living to get a job doing it. We have certified contractors all over the country and even into different countries like Australia and over the pond, they call it, but opportunity everywhere for you guys to get the job. Hey, if you're interested, check out this video and uh, check out the link on where you could actually maybe advance your career or start a new career doing this kind of stuff. Check out the video. If there's one thing I'm looking for in a foreman, it's work ethic. Actually, maybe there's two things, work ethic and passion. And I don't know which order they need to come in, but you have to have those two. Those two things are unteachable. You either have it or you don't. Everything else we can teach. We're a little bit different when we think about foreman. Typically in the landscape industry, um, a foreman is a guy who's gonna sit there, he's gonna point out directions, hop back and forth between jobs. We're looking for somebody that wants to point out directions, but they gotta get inside. They're gonna get dirty. We want somebody who's gonna be mixing up with the guys. You're gonna be slinging rocks, you're gonna be digging holes, but you're gonna be a leader. And so the biggest thing is we want you in front of the customer. We want you in front of the crew. Talk to the guys, explain stuff. We're also looking for somebody who is a perpetual learner. So we need you to constantly be learning new concepts and ideas, and then you're gonna take that information, not only learn it for yourself, but then you're gonna turn around and train people. So we have a completely different model that we're looking for, and it takes a lot of different skill sets. So someone with good communication skills, good leadership skills, someone that's outgoing, it's gonna be able to potentially do sales. We want people that are gonna be looking at all different aspects of the business. A positive attitude is absolutely a must. Um, you know, because we're really responsible for keeping the uh, the morale up you know on the crew on a day-to-day -day basis um, I would say your ability to diagnose and resolve issues um, on the job site efficiently um, you know really understand how to manage your resources and that includes your labor staff one of the key qualities we're looking for any new person is to take ownership and when I mean ownership like pretend you're the owner and what would you do if this was your company Meaning, are you responsible for tools? Are you being mindful of um, the hours that are being worked? Are you thinking about the most efficient ways to get things done? I mean, everybody on our crew is not just here to dig holes and move rocks. Every single one of us is empowered to think like an owner, and you need to bring that attitude with you or you don't last. I think just overall being a very caring person about what we're doing, um, really understanding that these clients are pouring a lot of time and money into our projects, and really treating it as if um, it's our money that we're, you know, putting in, and um, you know, really understanding the value of that dollar that they're spending, and making sure that we, you know, put down twice as much effort uh, in value when when completing a project. My favorite part of my job is getting my hands dirty, getting outside, mixing it up, and the creativity. So just, I mean, the days could just fly by. I mean, before you know it, it's time to go home, and you spend all day long working hard, busting your butt, moving big boulders and stuff like that, but you get it just lost in that stuff. So the creative aspect to me is the best thing for me. You know, it's just a blast. Best part about being on a job site, for me, is super simple. It's what we create. I mean, we start with nothing, right? We work, 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 and at the end of the day, what we've created is unreplicatable. Like, nobody does what we do. And to see the reaction on a customer's face is priceless. You know, they, this is something they've dreamed of their entire life, and often there's emotions of joy and everything else, and, and it's, just so, it's just such an awesome, rewarding thing 
for us and for our customers. One of the most difficult parts of uh, being a foreman is interacting with the customer. Um, you know, inevitably every project, um, you kind of see the homeowners go through the excitement, the initial excitement of us getting there, starting the job, and then all of a sudden they want to pump the brakes and they're full of anxiety. And the hardest part is really sort of talking them down and letting them know that, yeah, a bomb looks like it went off in your backyard, but everything's going to turn out fantastic afterwards. So that is definitely the hardest part is navigating through those waters. Um, but it's also the most rewarding after that when you form that bond with them and really see that trust sort of come to fruition, you know, when, when their eyes light up when you finish the project and it's amazing. The hardest part of my job is Trying to figure out what the hardest part of my job is. I don't, I don't know, you know, I really love it all. I would say this, the hardest part for somebody new coming into construction is gonna be getting used to our rhythm. We work long, hard hours and it's consistent. There's not these breaks at 10 o'clock and at 12 o'clock and at three o'clock. We go, go, go. And if a job is spec'd up for a day, we finish it in a day. And um, getting on our team, is a very rewarding thing, but it's also getting on our team. Good video? I thought so. Definitely gives you insights on what we're looking for a foreman. I think what a lot of our contractors across the country are looking for a foreman or even just a team member. It's a fun, fun job. If I didn't think it was fun, I wouldn't be doing it as long as I've been doing it. So again, if you guys are interested, give us a call. Check out that link below. Nick, we miss you. We love you. We wish you the best of luck. And I hope you weren't just uh, blowing smoke up our beep beep. We'd love to have you back anytime you're willing to put in an extra day or two from your current job. Miss you bud. All right so now that Brian's gone we can actually start getting some work done around here.